What's up creatives, Seb here. In today's video, I'm showing you how to easily use Lightroom fast, even if you're a complete beginner. So I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to edit your photos from A to Z, and this is the photo that we're gonna be editing and transforming it into this, which is a very popular orange and teal look, which I think you guys are gonna like. And I'm also gonna be sharing my secret editing hack to make all of your photos stand out on Instagram, so be sure to watch until the very end to see that. Oh, and quickly, before I forget, because we're so close to 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna be giving away five of my Creative Club camera straps to you guys. All you have to do to enter is share this video to your Instagram stories and be sure to tag me and then I'm going to be selecting five of you guys to win these straps. But without further ado, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let's jump right into Lightroom. So welcome to the editing desk. As you can see, I have Lightroom opened up and I've imported my photo. So from here, what we're gonna do is actually head over to the develop tab and this is where we're gonna be editing our photo. So if you have a look right here, we have the basics, tone curves, HSL, color grading, details, and all of that. So we're gonna cover most of this, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to color correct as well as color grade your photo. So the first thing we wanna do is actually open up the basic tab right here. And we actually wanna select our white balance and set this in our image. So you can press W or use the white balance selector right here. And what you wanna actually do with this is actually just select a white part in your image and what we're going to do is set the correct white balance so as you can see right here it's now done that and you can see that the temperature and the tint has changed now a little bonus tip is you can actually use the white balance selector or these sliders right here to actually set a mood for your image so for example, if I selected it on her forehead like that, you can see it's made it a lot colder, but if we select the sky, you'll see it makes it a lot warmer. But obviously this was shot during sunset, so it has a kind of golden vibe. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna use a neutral white balance. So we're gonna set it back on a dress just like this. And now we've correctly white balanced our photo. So what we're gonna do now is actually color correct our image, and then we're gonna go ahead and color grade. Now, quick disclaimer, when it comes to color grading your image, it's gonna be completely subjective because you might like this edit or you might not like it, but what matters at the end of the day is if you like it. So what we're gonna do is focus on this main section right here to color correct our image. So I always like to start from the blacks up to the exposure and then we'll come here to add a little bit of a style to our image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the blacks a little bit and then the goal for this is just to kind of make all the details stand out a little bit more in this image. So I'm gonna bring the whites up even more just so it pops and you can really see it's starting to pop. And then I'm also going to increase the shadows because we can't really see many shadows in here. And then with the highlights, it's completely up to you. But if you bring it up, you're gonna see that the sky is gonna to start to overexpose. And if you bring it all the way down, you can see you can get a little bit more detail in the sky. So I'm gonna do it to minus 100. You can completely play around with this um, to however you like it. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna give it a little bit of contrast and then I'm also gonna up the exposure a little bit just to give the image a whole, a little bit of a brighter feel. Just to finish off the color correction, I'm gonna give it a bit of a softer look. I'm gonna reduce the clarity right here and you can see how the skin starting to look a bit softer. You don't wanna do this too much because if you do it too much, you can see it looks a bit blurry and then if you increase it, you can see it looks um, very weird. So we're gonna reduce that to about maybe minus 10, minus nine, just like that. And that's already starting to look good. And to finish off the color correction, what I'm gonna do is increase the vibrance and then reduce the saturation. So what this is gonna do, the vibrant section is actually gonna make colors in your photo which aren't so prominent stand out a little bit more. And then reducing the saturation is just gonna reduce the overall colors in the image. So it kind of balances it out with the vibrance and the saturation. So now that we've color corrected our image, here's a quick before and after. So what we're gonna do now is start grading. So we're gonna head down to the tone curves, we're gonna select the whites, and then here we're gonna add a bit of an S curve. So on the top here we have the whites, here we have the highlights, here we have the midtones, shadows, and then blacks. So what we're gonna do is create an S curve. So I'm gonna start off by bringing up the blacks just a little bit, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring down the whites, just like that. And you can see it's already starting to bring in a lot more detail. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is actually put a point in the middle here for our midtones, and we're gonna bring that in just like that. And see it's already starting to make a bit of an S. So now we're gonna head over to the shadows and then we're gonna bring that down a little bit more to bring in more detail. And you can see that starts to make the image pop even more. And then for the highlights, I think we can pretty much leave them there, but we might raise them just a little bit or lower them. 
I think if we lower them, that looks pretty good to me. So that part of the tone curve, you can see we've created a bit of an S shape. So that's what we call an S curve. And from here, what we're gonna do is open up the HSL color section. Now, a cool little tip with the HSL section is if you wanna change a specific color, but you're not too sure which one it is, you can actually click on this right here and then select whatever part of the image you wanna change. So for instance, the skin tones, and then if we drag it up, you can see it's starting to change the colors in here. So it's focusing on the reds and the oranges. And then of course, we bring it down, it's going to change that even more. So what we can do right here is actually just play around with that until we're happy. So I think plus 18 and minus 15 that looks pretty good. I then want to change, you can see that it's got quite a bit of yellow. So I'm going to change the yellows and then reduce that a fair bit just to make the skin tones look a little bit more natural. And then all we can do from here is we can change the sky. So again, really easily, you can just select the sky, then you can change that to a more aqua or you can make it a bit more purple. Um, however you like it, but I think we're just going to keep it very subtle, just like that. I think that's already starting to look really good. Here's a quick before and after. You can see that the colors are really starting to pop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the saturation section right here and I'm actually going to start using the luminance. So what I'm going to do is play around with this just to make the tones look a little bit more natural. So I think minusing the reds a little bit is going to be good for the skin. And then all we can do is up the orange a little bit just like that. Now you can see it's got a much more natural color. And then same thing, we can bring up the yellows just like that. And you can see that it's already looking really, really good. So now we are pretty much done. You can play around with the color grading section right here. It's very similar to the HSL, but here you can just prioritize more of the shadows, the highlights, as well as the midtones. So for instance, if I wanted my shadows to have a bit of a bluey tint, then what I can do is actually bring this over to the blue section and you can see it's making my shadows a lot bluer. So we're gonna do a little subtle blue just like that. And that looks really good. And then we can do the same thing with the highlights. We can make that a little bit more blue. And then boom, that's already looking really good. So I'm quite happy with how this photo looks. Here's a quick before and after. So to finish it off, we're gonna go all the way back up. And then what we're gonna do is crop our photo. So if you're posting on Instagram, you can either use the four by five section, which is that squared rectangle, or if you're looking to post the new aspect ratio, it's gonna be the 16 by nine. Just like that, if you didn't know, they've changed the aspect ratio um, and they're going to be making it 16 by 9. So we're going to do it just like that. And now our photo is complete. Now, for my secret hack to make your photos pop even more and stand out on Instagram, what I like to do is actually use a mask section right here. And we've introduced these new features called Select Subject. So we're going to click on this right here. And what it's going to do, the AI is going to detect the subject. So here you can see it's added Georgia as a subject. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this just like that. And you'll see why in just a moment. So with mask one, we're going to keep it as it is. And then we're just going to increase the exposure just a little bit, just like that. And then we can also reduce the highlights. And then on the second mask, what we're going to do is we're going to select it and open it up. And then on the subject, we're going to click on the three dots and then select invert. And that's going to highlight the entire background. So from here, we're just going to reduce the exposure. So then the subject pops even more. So that's a little hack to make your photos stand out on Instagram. But now you're pretty much good to go. All you have to do is export your photo and then you can upload it to Instagram. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what videos you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.